Welcome back to 3D Printing News, a place we talk all things 3D. Our first story, one of the worst parts of printing with resin, it's the cleanup. It's time consuming, tedious, and for being honest, it's kind of gross. But maybe that's about to change. Printables user Onild Monster has created a pump that makes resin cleanup easy. The ResiVac 1000 basically combines a 3D printed funnel and housing for a separately purchased 5B peristaltic pump and silicone tube. A simple nine part design will have you doing less cleanup and more printing. Sticking with resin, Frozen has announced a budget version for their Sonic series. The Sonic Mini AKS is estimated to be around $300 and puts them in the market for other entry level resin printers. It's expected to be released May 17th and we will release information to you as soon as we get some more. Let's move away from resin and talk software updates. Bamboo Lab has made some major updates to Bamboo Studio. One of the big components to the update is a feature which identifies conflicts between the G-code passive objects and their supports, which will essentially increase the rate of successful prints. Another cool feature is for the X1 series. Printers can now automatically perform certain tasks like loading and unloading filament. In this story, we're just scratching the surface of what this update can do, so we'll let you guys have some fun and play around with it. Since it's about to be the weekend, we gotta talk about relaxation. The best way to relax, sitting on the couch or other comfortable furniture you have. But what if that furniture was 3D printed? A German designer has unveiled a printed chair called Loom, which features a single piece design comprising two oval openings for the backrest and C connected by a tangential arc. It's just so cool to see 3D printing being used for practical purposes and now we've entered the stage of comfort, my favorite. China not only plans to take humanity back to the moon by 2028, they plan to install a permanent lunar base made out of, you guessed it, the moon. Well, resources on the moon. Okay, maybe you didn't guess that, but instead of clumping together space dirt and moon cheese together into an igloo with their bare hands, they prototyped a robot called the Super Mason to do it which will use the power 3D printing to form bricks of cheese for its construction. I mean, dirt. Well, who's to say? The moon's pretty big, and they may have some space cows grazing around up there. That's all the time we have. Back to you, Bob.